Have you ever noticed something odd in a dialysis unit? We stress so much about sterility, but then you look at the acid can and bicarbonate can and they are just kept open. Seeing that, the first thought that comes to anyone's mind is, bacteria is everywhere, won't it contaminate these cans? And if contamination is possible, why do we allow that compromise? Let's understand the science and logic behind it. The first one is the acid can. Here, the acid concentrate has a pH of around 2. At this acidity, bacteria die almost instantly. So for the acid can, even if it's open for a short time, the risk of bacterial growth is extremely low. And now let's come to the real concern, the bicarbonate can. And here, the bicarbonate behaves very differently. It is neutral to alkaline, which makes it an excellent medium for bacterial growth. And now the question comes, if bacteria can grow in the bicarbonate can, wouldn't it reach the patient's blood? And the answer is, no, it wouldn't. So let's look at what actually protects the patient here. We know that dialyzer membranes have pores in them, and we are actually worried that bacteria might cross these pores and get into the bloodstream. But actually, dialyzer membranes have pore sizes in the nanometer range, and bacteria are in micrometers. That means they are hundreds to thousands of times bigger than the dialyzer pores. So whole bacteria cannot physically cross from the dialysate site to the blood site. And that's why dialysate contamination does not equal bloodstream infection. But there is something else that can cross. And now comes the real threat, the endotoxins. When bacteria grow and die, they release endotoxins, which are tiny fragments of their outer membrane. These fragments are much smaller and some can pass through or back diffuse across the dialyzer membrane under pressure gradients. And these endotoxins can cause anywhere from fever, chills and rigor to long-term low-grade inflammation, which can lead to increased morbidity and mortality in dialysis patients. So the problem is not living bacteria, but it's the endotoxin burden. So how do we prevent this? The best method is to use a central concentrate delivery system. Here, the acid and bicarbonate are prepared in close closed tanks and the concentrate is pumped to each dialysis machine through sealed pipelines. For most real-world Indian scenarios, factory sealed cans can be used or you can use a closed coupler. And for bicarbonate, it has to be prepared fresh daily using only RO water. And no matter which system your unit uses, both require an endotoxin retention filter. And these remove endotoxins before dialysate enters the dialyzer. And they must be replaced every 100 dialysis cycles or every 3 months, whichever comes first. So the next time when you walk into a dialysis room and wonder why those cans are open, remember that dialysis safety depends not just on sterility, but also on the dialyzer membrane physics which protect our patients every day.